Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are the books that I will hopefully be reading in July. June was a little bit of a slow reading month for me because of a lot of things going on um, and I actually did not post a June TBR video if y'all did not notice that. Um, I was really busy. I was doing a bunch of things that week and that was the first time I have not posted a video. Like I completely just did not post a video at all. Um, like I didn't even replace it with anything. Like I just did not post a video that week. Um, so I'm sorry. I was just really busy and I did not have the time to film that. I'm so sorry for y'all. Anyways, let's get started. Um, like usual, I do have kind of like prompts or challenges for myself every single month that I would love to fill when it comes to my TBR. Let's get into it. First, I have to talk about Tiffany and I's Beam Me Up book club. If you didn't know Tiffany from Tiff Talks Pages here on YouTube and Neverland Pixie on Instagram, we run an alien slash monster romance book club. We're actually in the middle of our Horde Kings of Dakar series by Zoe Raven, where we read two books in the series a month. So in July, that's gonna be the end of our read along. So we're gonna be reading the last two books in the series with book number five being taken by the Horde King and book number six being Throne of the Horde King. So. Second to last, last one. I have read these books already. They are rereads for me. One of the best alien romance series out there. Just saying. So um, please be sure to join us. We will have the like dates of our live shows and everything on our Instagrams. Tiffany is really good at posting those and making beautiful graphics. So be sure to stay tuned on our Instagram, but I will definitely be rereading these in July. For a book with disability representation, I would love to read A Court of Blood and Bindings by Lizette Marshall. I know this is a fantasy romance and I believe one of our characters, the hero, is not able to speak if I'm not mistaken. And I heard about this book from Jess from Honest Fiction, the fantasy romance queen here on booktube, okay? And that's all I really know. I'm going in blind. I really trust Jess. We have a lot of the same um taste when it comes to fantasy romances at least so i'm really excited for this i haven't read a lot of fantasy romances with disability representation so that's why i put it on this list for a book from my kindle library i have return to monte carlo by kate c wells i have read a few kate c wells books and i've really enjoyed them this one sounds really interesting because it takes place in monte carlo in 1982 it takes place like not in present time which is cool i love the tagline at the top it says a runaway wife a surprise baby and a dark secret i believe this is a second chance romance where these two were married and haven't seen each other in a year I want to say they get back together I don't know how but I really want to read this this cover is beautiful and I actually really love like secret surprise baby romances so I'm in that mood a book for my physical TBR I picked Silver Fox by Kayla Gross Kayla was so sweet and sent this book my way isn't it so sticky cute it's an age gap romance I love Kayla's books so much and I can't wait to read like this plus size romance with like an older man like give it to me now I've been loving all of her like content on Instagram revolving around this book it looks so good it looks so hot so cute I am so ready for it. I don't know anything else except like he's silver fox he's older than her and we have good plus size rep that's all I really need to know for a historical romance I have Lady Sophia's Lover by Lisa Kleypas I read book one I think it's called Someone to Watch Over Me um and so I'm gonna read Book number two, just continue on with the series because why not? This is because I want to read all of Lisa's books. I love her books so much. Um, and yeah, why not just continue on with the series? I've heard some pretty good things about this one. I think this was a book club pick for one of the historical um, romance readathon books, like a group book, I think, like their first or second one that they ever did like years ago. And I think it was good if I remember correctly. I haven't read it yet. I'm really bad at reading like group pick books for readathons if you did not know um so I have not read it yet but I'm really excited I love Lisa Kleypas and a few of my friends have read this one and really loved it I don't know what it's about at all when it comes to authors that I love I don't really read the summaries anyway so I'm going into this one blind <laughs> a book that's coming in on Libby next month is Lady of Darkness by Melissa K. Rorick. I think that's how you pronounce that. Please tell me if I'm butchering that. I am so sorry. Um, but it is the first book in the Lady of Darkness series. It looks like this is a dark fantasy romance book, which whew, I'm in the mood for, obviously. Our heroine is Scarlet, which is my middle name. I love that. Okay, so Scarlet, who's owned by a ruthless assassin lord. It's giving me Selena vibes. Okay, and her and her two sisters have been trained since they were children to torture and take life. And I think she gets taken by someone else and is asked to or forced to, I think, kill somebody possibly. And I think it might be the person she's going to kill is the one she falls in love with, if I'm not mistaken. This is new adult fantasy, enemies to lovers, 
and has adventure that will appeal to lovers of possessive fae, wicked witches, sexy shifters, and arrogant vampires. This already sounds really good. I've been wanting to read more fantasy romances because I just haven't lately because not a lot of them have been on my Libby to listen to. So I'm actually really looking forward to this one. I really want to read my favorite author's backlist. So for this month, I picked Notorious Pleasures by Elizabeth Hoyt. This is her second book in... Oh, I forget the name of the series. It's like a really long series. The Maiden Lane series. That's what it's called. The Maiden Lane series. Okay, it's so a second book in a Maiden Lane series. I've been wanting to read more in this series. I read, I think, three or four books in it. Um, but now we're starting all over. I read book one. Now we're on to book number two. Don't know who this is about. Don't want to know who it's about. But I'm reading it. And there we go. <laughs> for a book to continue a series. A few of these books could already fill that prompt. But for me, I'm picking a whole new one. This is The Lone Wolf's Rejected Mate by Casey Wells. Another Casey Wells book on this list. Okay, um, but I've been wanting to read more in the series. I love the rejected mate trope so much. I love it. I eat it up like candy. And so when, when there's a whole series chocked full of the rejected mate trope, I've got to read them. I have to. So I read book one. I've read book two. Book one so far has been my favorite. I think the characters from this book we've met previously in book number one. So I'm excited. But yeah, I love the rejected mate trope where the hero rejects the heroine and then he has to grovel his butt off. I love Love it. Next, I always make sure to pick a book that I have not heard before and an author I've never heard before. So this is The Witch is Back by Sophie H. Morgan. I saw this one on my Libby and it's coming in on hold for me in July. So I'm excited. It looks like this is a witchy rom-com, which I don't think I've ever read a combination like that before. So yay. It looks like these characters were former childhood sweethearts and they have to get in a fake dating relationship. Ooh, this is so fun. The heroine owns and runs a bar in Chicago called Toil and Trouble. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so she's a witch. And um, she's left her small town seven years ago and she's been living a delightfully mundane human life in the bar that she runs. But then Bastion walks through her door and announces that he wants her back. So there's gonna be magical elements in here. I'm really excited. I haven't read a good witch romance in a while either. So for a hyped book, I have The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. I've heard good things about this one from friends who have read it. I do know what to expect. Like spice wise, this has like nothing in it, I'm pretty sure, or pretty close to nothing. So if, if I know that going in, I'm good. Uh, I just wanna know beforehand, I guess. So I don't like set my expectations like up here. You know what I mean? I do love books that don't have spice in them. You know what I mean? But I think the heroine is the bodyguard in this book. So I love bodyguard romances and I've never read a romance where the heroine is the bodyguard. So I can't wait to pick this one up. A 2024 new release um, is a book that's coming out in July that I'm so excited for. This is Not Another Love Song by Julie Soto. I read Julie Soto's debut like a month or two ago and fell in love with it fell in love with it. I have no idea what this book is about. I don't want to know what this book is about. I loved book one. I need to read her second book. And um, this cover is so stinking hot. I love this cover so much. Okay. Um, it's going to have musical elements in here, obviously. And I, I, I can't wait to read it. And my last one is Monster Slash Alien book. And I picked Stranded in the Satyr's Garden by Sia Petricho. Pet Petericho? Petericho. Sorry, that one is a tongue twister for me. Our heroine is invited to a holiday party thrown by her boss and she doesn't really have any friends in this new city she lives in so she's like why the heck not? She goes to the party but then her boss's creepy son lures her away from the party and she realizes she's in danger but then she wakes up in a magical garden in the arms of a devilishly handsome stranger who just happens to be our satyr hero. But the satyr wants more than a night of pleasure. He wants to keep me forever. Sounds fun. This is like only like 130 pages. So whenever I just want a quick little palette cleanser, I will pick this one up. Anyways, there you have it. Those are the books that I will hopefully be getting to next month in July. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me what emoji we're going to do. Let's do any flower, any flower emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye all.